Daigo is really up and running and going into science mode soon. They are now just about to take first science data in their upgraded form later this year. And we might get lucky and see a gravitational wave there already. So it remains to be seen how stable it is and what the sensitivity it is. Um, but things are looking good. It's a more and more exciting time. GEO has pioneered many advanced technologies that were not used in first generation LIGO, but are now a important ingredient of LIGO. So every, every single component of these very complicated instruments is driven by the requirement to detect smaller and smaller waves. GEO 600 uh, was always a mix uh, of a data taking instrument and uh, a think tank. So uh, producing innovative uh, technologies. The Advanced LIGO laser system was built and stabilized in Hannover. Will these so-called monolithic suspensions of the mirrors make the glass wires, to cool them using a carbon dioxide laser, welding all the glass pieces together, and basically the construction of the, the heart of the interferometer. And Advanced LIGO basically takes a scaled up version of what we have in GEO. There's a technique called signal recycling, which was developed in Glasgow and tested at the GEO detector. Signal recycling, um, in addition to arm cavities, as the large detectors use them, uh, was, considered, was always considered too complex and needed to be tested in a real gravitational wave detector before being considered for the advanced detectors. So GEO tested signal recycling, proved that uh, it operates as the simulations predict. Gravitational wave research is a wonderful example of worldwide collaboration. So that includes groups from the US, obviously it's a US uh, project, but it also includes groups in the UK and Germany. Australia, Italy. So the LIGO Scientific Collaboration is a collection of around 900 scientists who are all working together. Scientists who help to design and are helping to build, commission and analyse the data from the LIGO detectors. It's a mixture of working on site um, and lots and lots of time spent on, um, on the telephone. Talking to people, uh, making measurements and thinking about the next steps to do in finding noise sources. Advanced LIGO sensitivity will be about a factor of 10 higher than the sensitivity of GEO 600 as we have it now. The four kilometers again, 600 meters, but very much higher laser power also. Advanced LIGO has a, a good chance to see gravitational waves, whereas in GEO we need a little bit more luck. Personally, I'm extremely excited and I would nearly say a little impatient because we're all waiting for gravitational waves and um, this, is, this is the time when we will be able to measure them.